Hi, I'm Emma and I make books, comics, paintings and illustrations. I've been drawing and painting all my life. I remember once I did a drawing which other people quite liked. It was when I was six years old and I copied a picture of a swan from a magazine. I drew a lot of animals, especially dogs. These days I'm most inspired by nature. I like to paint the sea, the moon, lakes, trees, gardens, and I still like to paint animals. I also paint from my imagination. I just make shapes on the paper and see what happens. Sometimes images emerge out of the watercolour, so I might see a person, or an animal, or a landscape, or a dragon, or something that I dreamt about last night. I might see something really strange that I could never have thought up by myself. I really love colour and I really love water, so watercolour is the perfect medium for me. It does its own thing, it flows, you can splash it, spread it, splatter it, dribble it, pour it, and let it puddle and pool and see what it does. You don't know exactly what kind of shape it will settle into. I like the surprise of that. And I love colour because it seems so emotional to me. It can really change my mood. If I see a bright colour, that can make me feel happy. Or a peaceful colour like blue can really relax me. Colour can also help me express my feelings. For example, if I'm feeling angry or sad. Or it can help me understand a feeling I'm going through, even if I'm not sure what that feeling is. I might choose one or two colours to work with that I feel drawn to on a particular day. And I'm choosing them because I'm in a particular kind of mood, which I can't express in words, but which the colours seem to resonate with. Sometimes I make paintings about my life, or about things that have happened in my life. I made this comic about a trip I took to the Foundling Museum in London. The museum tells you about the history of a children's orphanage that was founded in the 18th century. I found it very sad and it also made me think a lot. It gave me questions about my own life too, because I was adopted as a baby. Because I wanted a space to explore the feelings and thoughts that the visit brought up for me, I decided to make a comic. You can see some other little comics and books I have made over the years here. This one is about how to paint mindfully. This one is a travel journal about a journey to India. And this one is the first chapter of a longer graphic novel I'm still writing, which is about meeting my birth mother. It was a very emotional and life-changing experience, so I feel like I need to write a whole book about that one, as I have so much to say about it. Finally, I'd like to give you one big tip. For me, the most helpful thing to know when you're painting or drawing is this. Try not to judge your work when you're doing it. Try to put aside any self-criticism, any doubts about whether you're good enough or whether it's any good. Enjoy the way the paint flows on the paper. Try to get lost in the shapes and the colours and the unexpected things that happen. That way, you'll really enjoy yourself and you may find you paint better. Good luck, have fun and I'd love to see what you make.